How much money Fuel All is make 2023? Yo, 2,000 ain't no money. You think, you think $2,000 is good money? Yeah. It's enough money? Yeah, 8,000 for the month. Yeah. That's not bad. What's rocking, Big Z family? It's your boy Big Z coming back to y'all with another video. So right now, I see there is um, a big discussion about, you know, is $2,000 a week enough money? Or is $2,000 a lot of money per week for a local job? $2,000 is a lot. There's a lot of over the road OTR guys, they're not even making $2,000. Like company driver, over the road, they're not making $2,000 a week. A lot of jobs not paying $2,000 a week. So I don't know where this came about, but for the people that are saying 2,000 ain't a lot of money per week, y'all must be crazy. And I, I would say y'all just probably spoil and y'all probably live up north where it's super cold and they probably pay y'all like what, $35 set or $40 an hour. And y'all probably making like 2,500 or 3,000 a week. But $2,000 a week is pretty much, it's, that's a lot of money. That's six figures. And a lot of jobs ain't paying that kind of money. So $2,000 a week is a lot of money. If you're making $1,500 a week, that's a lot of money. A lot of people not making that kind of money. Y'all need to put some respect on, on the local truckers, you know, that's making some real money because $2,000 is a lot of money. And not only that, it's a lot of money it's easy money like fuel is probably the easiest i did I, I pretty much did everything already in trucking so i know only thing i didn't do was i never went over the road and um that's it that's that's probably it but i did everything else and fuel hauling is the easiest one of the easiest dropping hook if you're doing dropping hook i even feel like dropping hook is, is kind of a lot of work because you gotta be sometimes them land the landing gear on the trailers and stuff is like really hard to go down or hard to go up and you can be fighting with it then you got to disconnect with fuel haul and you don't even have to hook or drop because the trailer is always connected to the tractor so you don't have to worry about disconnecting or nothing like that all you have to do is come in do your pre-trip you know check everything and that's it but two thousand dollars a week man come on man like y'all put some respect on the two thousand dollars a week because a lot of people ain't making two thousand dollars a week so if you're making two thousand dollars a week man salute to you because you're getting money and a lot of people not making that kind of money you're making six figures a year that's what's up i know a lot of people probably like oh two thousand dollars ain't no money it's probably not a lot of money because the way the economy is set up right now you know everything is expensive if you live in florida i live in florida you know down i live in south florida so it's really really expensive and two thousand dollars a week it could seem like it's really not a lot of money it's all about how you manage your money and you know you probably will be okay but a lot of people and a lot of a lot of truckers tend to live above their means so that's why they probably feel like two thousand dollars isn't a lot of money if you're making two thousand dollars a week and you feel like it's not a lot of money then that means you're living way too high you know and you need to cut down some of your expenses you know y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe thank you for watching and stay tuned tune for next so right now i'm dropping my um dropping regular i got three tanks not sure if y'all ever seen a station with three tanks before but you got a regular right here i already dropping that one i'm dropping in this one right now and then i got the premium right there so sometimes you go to stations and this always set up they got three they got basically three um three tanks some stations we have in more than this and you got to move the truck just to get to to the tanks and stuff like that so right now everybody that's coming in they have to basically go around because uh the truck it blocks them from coming through what it is man fuel hauling man i don't know y'all show sure y'all y'all better let me know if y'all sure y'all want to do fuel hauling because it's a boring job you don't really do much you know just basically just chilling i don't know what's going on over here with these people blowing their horns and stuff uh, let me know how y'all feel about fuel hauling if there's something y'all probably think about doing Sometimes people want to do fuel hauling, but then they be scared that, oh, they got a, they got a bomb, traveling with a bomb, you know? But, I mean, I used to be just like that. I used to be scared to, I used to be scared to take on this job, because I want, I, I was thinking about fuel one time ago, and I was like, oh, hell no, I'm not, I'm not driving with no, no gas that probably could blow up, and this and that. But now, as I get a little older, I'm like, man, I'm trying to do something that's, you know, less work. That's where I came and I got on with the, watch a few videos on fuel and um, started doing it. 
you don't really do much it's just pretty easy you spend like 30 minutes like right now i'm just sitting here just waiting on this to finish and i could be just you know just chilling i don't know y'all make sure y'all like comment and subscribe and let's get it you have about three three stops yeah like, like, how long it takes you to finish up your day? Like, we could come, we could come, like, right, right yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, that's why I didn't want to approach you. Too, what you, what know? you say? Um, how long it takes you to finish up your day? Uh, you maybe get, like, three, you get, like, 10 to 12 hours. Yeah. What company you apply for? Um, my friend, company. Local? Yeah. He's down here by 595, down that side. Oh, Yeah. Oh, okay. My neighbor, my neighbor is the boss. Oh, yeah? Yeah, so, um. I have, I have my you are, you have fuel experience? No. No? So you know that it's gonna train me. Oh. It's gonna put somebody but I have my license for 15 years. Yeah? Yeah. How long you been driving? I used to own my own company too. Long time. You've been driving? Years. Oh okay. So I own my company for like six, six, seven years. Oh okay. So I just pack it up, get off the road, sell my trucks. Yeah. I have some KWs and stuff like that. Oh to go all over this country, you know, but my baby okay. and all of that, I wanna stay home. Yeah. And, you know, so when you gonna start? I'm not sure yet. Um, I, I, I did my hazmat for the second time. I make it expire because I wasn't using it. You pass it? Yeah, man. I oh, okay it. then. I do the fingerprint. They send me the papers so I can drive. But yeah. They, they want to hire me with the hard copy. I'm oh. Like endorsement you have to check on the is a hazmat website. You check on to see if it approved. I call them. I call yeah. Them. They send me a letter too. I know it's gonna approve because I have no no record. Okay. You know, okay. I have it before, but right. I just let it expire. Okay. And uh, I, my record is good, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah, fuel all in is good, man. It's an easy job. Yeah. You know? And you how can far, make. How far you go? We, we go. Uh, we go south. We go uh, up to like Florida City. Yeah. And north, we go as far as probably like Fort Pierce. Yeah. Yeah. That's and That's like around the on the west coast, we go like probably up to like Tampa, yeah, Fort Myers. When you do Tampa, how many trips you do for the day? Like two. Okay. Cause you know that's like two hours going. I used to live over that side. Yeah. Over here. I've been yeah. down here for 25. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you've been over the road and all that stuff too? Yeah, man. Okay. And dispatching my truck and all of that. Oh, okay. I drive all over, over state, everything, you know. Oh. I, drive to, I even used to have a car hauler company. Oh. The California drop cars. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah. So, yeah, man. The road, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. So, I always see the truck, like, you know, which way you pulling the gas station from? Right there. Right, right there. Yeah, yeah. I had to make like a U-turn, like right yeah. there. Yeah. And just come in. I mean, pull and just pull out and, yeah. 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 So how much money you looking to make? How, how, how much, much he, how much he told you you're gonna make? He's gonna start me up at a hundred thousand. I mean a hundred thousand? For the year. So what do you say you would make a week? We didn't get into that, I can break it down. Oh 50, 52 weeks, a hundred thousand. That's like maybe up maybe close to eighteen hundred a week. That's good money. Yeah. You think you think two thousand dollars is good money? Yeah. It's enough money? Yeah, eight thousand for the month. Yeah. That's not bad. Yeah, that's a lot of money, how man. Much, how much? How much? How much is that? guys have over here? Um, over here, I think they start them off with like twenty-five an hour with no experience. Yeah. But I think that's how it is. Like to, with all the fuel companies down here in Florida, yeah. that's how they. That's how much they start them off with. Yeah. He said he's gonna start me for a hundred thousand. Oh, that's yeah. good. He's my neighbor, and then oh, we have the same birthday. That's good. So y'all got a relationship. Yeah. We, all right. We have a good relationship even before I. Yeah. Up What's your name? Brian. Brian. All right, take it easy, bro. Z. All right, bless you, Take it easy, bro. All right. Thanks for talking to me. No problem, bro. Man, this station is so crowded right now. It's crazy. Get out of here, y'all. I don't know how I'm gonna get out, man. This station is crazy, man. Yo, we gotta figure this out right now. Lock this up. I can't get out of the station right now. Yo, right now, I don't know how I'm gonna get out of the station, man. Yo, cars everywhere. 
It's crazy. It's crazy, man. Look, cars over there, cars over here, people all over there. Man, I don't know, man. They don't have to do something. Cause your boy gotta go. I'm about to start blowing in a minute. Cause I gotta get out of this jump. See this this the good thing right here about when you get paid hourly though. When you get paid hourly, and you can be here all day. But when you get paid by the Lord, I'm sorry brother, but you stuck and you ain't getting paid. So that's the suck part about getting paid by the Lord and when you get paid by the hour. Can't do that. That pay by the Lord stuff, man. You ain't gonna make no money. So right now, I'm gonna stop blowing because I gotta go. So, something gotta give, man. Let's go, man. Come on, brother. Let me get past right there, man. Let me get past, man. Let me get past, man. Come on, you gotta put your gas in and then you go. I'ma wait for you. Huh? I'ma wait for you to be done. Oh, I'm to you? Yeah, because I won't be able to make Sorry. unless unless you want me to take that car with me. <laughs> no, <my baby. laughs> okay. <laughs> so right now, man, I gotta wait y'all on all of this traffic, man. All this traffic is blocked up right now basically because uh, the truck was dropping fuel. And it's a real small tight station and they can't really, you know, they can't handle no no traffic like that, man. When, once the truck, cause this station right here, they supposed to have the truck come in the day, in the nighttime. That way, you know, you don't have to deal with no traffic, but, and this is what's going on right now. So I just gotta wait. It is what it is. This guy in the front of me, guy in front of me right please tell me why he gonna park there and you see that i'm trying to leave like he's gonna sit there he think i could make the turn while he's right there like bro what are you doing <laughs> oh man people be funny man so right now i'm about to leave the station right now finally this car is leaving so your boy can get out of here so i'll see what i had to go through I had to wait. Damn, boy, that shit close, boy.